back in 2008, I was working as the performance coach at Montrose Christian, a small school right outside of Washington, D.C., and it's where Kevin Durant graduated from. And I was getting ready for what I thought was just going to be a normal day of practice, getting dressed in the locker room, and I walked in the doors of our tiny gym, and I found myself standing 10 feet away from my idol. Completely unexpected. 10 feet away from my hero. I thought this was going to be a normal day of practice, and I'm 10 feet away from the one person in the world I wanted to meet more than anyone. I referenced him earlier, Coach K, the former head basketball coach at Duke. And Coach K and I had a chance to talk for about 10 minutes before practice. And it's kind of comical now, as impactful as this moment was in my life, I guess I didn't quite have the mindfulness or awareness then that I'd like to believe I have now. Because this was a pivotal moment in my life. I don't remember a single word that either one of us said. Not a single word. But I'll never forget how Coach K made me feel. He made me feel like I was the most important person in the room. I wasn't. The kid he was re recruiting was the most important, but he made me feel like I was. He had very warm body language and posture. He maintained great eye contact. He had a warm smile and a genuine curiosity where he kept asking me question after question about me and my work. He made me feel like I was the most important person in that room. Well, I was raised very old school, you know, going back to the cleaning the table. I, I was taught by my parents when someone goes out of their way to do something nice for you, you handwrite them a thank you note. So I went home that night and I handwrote him a thank you note. Just basically said, you know, Coach K, it was so amazing to meet you. You have no idea what it meant to me. Thank you so much for your time. Always rooting for you and Duke. Put a stamp on it, sent it off to Durham, North Carolina. And I figured that would be that. I did my part. Well, three weeks later, I go to my mailbox and I get a note back from Coach K. Now, I know you guys can't see this, but... Three sentences on the front of his stationery in his iconic handwriting that basically said, no, Alan, it was so lovely to meet you. You're doing a terrific job always rooting for Duke. I mean, always rooting for you. I guess he's rooting for Duke, too, but... <laughs> that would have been really weird if he wrote that on here, right? <laughs> it was so nice to meet you, but I'm going to continue rooting for myself. <laughs> Told that story a thousand times, never flubbed the last line. Oh, well, next play. Three sentences on the front of his stationery. How long do you think it took him to write this, even if he's a little bit slow? Maybe 60 seconds? Can we agree that over the course of our entire life, 60 seconds is a little thing? Yeah, well, this little thing had a profound impact on my life. This little thing is why I have an attitude of gratitude. Every single day, I want to tell as many people as I possibly can, I appreciate you, great job, well done. This little thing, and for those of you that know me, and I know there's only a few of you in here, is why I am relentless about returning every voicemail, every email, and every text message I get. Now, I realize I'm biased. You guys may disagree, and I'll find this out in about eight seconds. But it's my belief, if the greatest coach in the history of all team sports can make the time to return my handwritten note, you better believe I can call you back. You better believe I can return your email or respond to your text. So this little thing made a huge difference in my life. So don't forget that. The little things you all do on a daily basis for your family, for your colleagues and coworkers, and certainly for your customers and your clients make a huge difference. And just so you know, I only carry this around when I'm speaking. I wasn't wearing this in my shorts yesterday as I was walking around Rapid City. Just... I mean, this, is, this means a lot to me, but just, just want to make sure we're square.